Okay, now we are going to discuss properties. Properties help us describe sets. And given the universal set, uh, we can pick out subsets of it using properties. So let's look at some examples. Example of objects and sets. Objects would be, for example, the people, a set of people, Anu, Banu, Chetan, David, A, B, C, D, like that. And sets would be students, boys, girls. And we have properties. So property PX uh, means that object X has a property P. For example, Anu is a girl. You would write girl bracket Anu. And boy uh, in the bracket, the argument is David. The student argument is David. So you can read it like a predicate. This is called a predicate. Predicate is a function which takes an object and it's a boolean function it returns true or false so then we can convert uh, talk about elements in the set using logic proposition logic so for example this is a blue car is can be written as car x x stands for this x is a car and x has the property blue so this allows us to write complicated english sentence in uh, logical format proposition logic and sets so let's look at some more examples. We can define the set boys is the set of x such that x is a property boy. And similarly, boy students would be defined as some, some x, all the x's such that x is a boy and x is a student. Similarly, girl students would be defined as a student x and not a boy x. Now we can com uh, combine all, all the properties in it using boolean functions and get all kinds of sets and subsets but there's a problem what does negation mean negation has been a big problem in logic because it involves defining what is not you know what a student is but what is not a student is cat not a student for example in this example uh, not friend what does not friend mean you guys are all familiar with facebook and you have a friend and you have unfriend and you have some random stranger is that a friend or is not a friend does not friend mean an enemy well you got to answer these questions so boris says katie is not my friend katie says boris is my enemy what's the difference between these two sentences so katie has a world divided into two parts friends and not friends not friends are enemies and boris is a is divided into three parts people who has friends people who are enemies and people you don't know so this will be a big part of a logical discussion in knowing what we don't know and we'll come to that later on thank you